Hello, my most amazing artist. How are you today? Well, I'm so excited that we get to do an art lesson and um, I've missed you guys so much and we're gonna do something really easy today. All you're gonna need is a piece of paper and a pencil and if you have crayons or markers or something to color with, that'd be great too. The only thing you have to have though is a piece of paper and a pencil. But before we get started, I wanted to introduce you to somebody. Maze, come here. This is Maisie, and she is my puppy dog. She is a dachshund slash um, beagle, and so she will be popping in and out of our art lessons from time to time, and I'm sure you will hear her barking. So I thought that I would introduce her to you. So give me just a second, go get your art supplies, and we'll get started. So, my amazing artist, what we are going to draw today are llamas. Yay! I'm going to show you some examples of some different little guys, and we'll go back and look at them. I'm going to walk you step by step. We're going to do a directed drawing. And so, the first thing I need you to do is get out your piece of paper while I get this set up. Okay. Okay, so you're just gonna need a piece of paper and let's see. Um, and what I want you to do is you're gonna use it, let's see, let me bring this back so you can see. We're gonna do it portrait style and that's where the longer side is going up and down and then the short side's across the top. If we were gonna do landscape, we'd turn it to the side and that would be where the shorter ends are on the side and the longer ends are on the top. But this, this one, we're gonna do portrait, okay? So you're gonna turn it like that. Um, I am gonna use a uh, pen or a, uh, actually I'm gonna use a marker so you can see it better. Um, but you're welcome to just use a pencil and that way if you need to erase, um, you can do that, it makes it easy, okay? Um, so we're gonna start out now. Let me show you my llama. I want you to notice the first thing is he's got a really long neck and then his comes across the head. You have to be careful, like on this little guy, you can see I kind of made his head flat and he looks a little more like SpongeBob. Um, if you want to do it the right way, <laughs> um, do it where it's a little more uh, rounded at the top, okay? But however you do it, it's going to be fine. Um, I gave you some examples to look at, but I want you to make yours different. I don't want yours to look exactly like mine. I want to see what you guys can do, okay? So um, I'm just going to give you some guidelines on how to do it, and then I want you to have fun and use your imagination. Okay, so what we're going to do, I want you to notice your paper, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got enough room at the top where you can make his ears. And um, and you can come in a little bit on the sides so that you'll be able to have fun making a background, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and I'm just gonna do a squiggly line, okay? See, and it's not perfect and they're not all the same. And then I'm gonna come across the top and do his kind of rounded head and then I'll come back down and do the sides. Now, if you want to, if you wanna practice it a little bit before you do it, you can do it with your finger, where you just take your finger and you'll kinda of practice and figure out where you want it to go. You may want it to be a little bit wider than mine. You could, could do it that way. However you do it, it's gonna be fine. These are just some guidelines. Okay, so next we're gonna do his ears. And so I'm just gonna start here on the side of his head and come up and kind of round it and come right back down. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right. All right, and then next we have the eyes. Now you've got lots of choices for the eyes. You can really do them any way you want to. Um, one of the things about llamas that you'll notice is that their eyes are wide set so you're gonna wanna kinda do the eyes over to the side. So I'm just gonna give, we're gonna make this one our girl, okay? And so we'll give her some pretty eyes with some eyelashes. Okay. Let's 
Alrighty. Now, you can do big round eyes. You can do little eyes. You can just do whatever you want to. I've got one little guy with glasses. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is his nose, or her, actually, nose. So, you're going to draw a round circle. And then inside, almost looks like a baseball. Okay, you're going to do two curves on the inside, like that. Okay? And then next is a mouth. Now, again, you can do the mouth any way you want to. I'm just going to kind of do a straight smile. All right? And then this is where you get to have fun. You can do anything you want to in the background. Um, I used, well, let me show you and I'll tell you what I used. I used crayons and a black marker for this guy. I used the marker to give him the hat and the glasses. Um, and then the background was just crayon. Uh, with this one, the background is crayon and then the hearts and the flowers are markers. Um, and then I did some that I didn't color in just to give you some different examples of some easy backgrounds that you could do. Now, this little guy, I'm going to show you where this is another place I kind of messed up. Probably his little collar and the little tassels should have been a little bit lower. That's a little bit high. <laughs> okay. So, um, but what I want you to do, I want you to draw yours and color it however you want to. Like I said, Whatever you have at home that you can use uh, will be great. If it's crayons or markers or watercolor, anything you've got is fine. Um, and then I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to email it to me. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys have done and I love you and I miss you. I'll see you soon. Bye.